The next case is a female patient in her 60s with rectal region. The laterally spreading tumor, granular nodular mixed type, is located at lower rectum, close to the dental line, which size is approximately 25 mm. The clonic ESD will be performed by Dr. Hironori Yamamoto. Good morning. Hi. Uh, today, uh, my assistant is Dr. Fukuda, and Dr. Hirosawa, and Dr. Ohata is the commentator. And uh, can you see the endoscopic image? This is the LCI image. Can you see the endoscope image now? Yes. OK. As you can see, the submucosal uh, vessels look purple. Do you agree? Yes, very much. Yes, so the, using the LCI, submucosal um, vessels, you can recognize better. Uh, this is white light, this is reddish, but uh, uh, the color changes. And the typical uh, neoplastic region remains reddish, so that, that means it becomes easier to detect neoplastic lesion using this uh, mode. Anyway, let's come back. So when I examine the colon, I use LCI for the observation from the beginning of the observation. Anyway, came back to the rectum, and this is the lesion. So the lesion is located uh, very close to the anal verge, as you can see. And after you detect the, uh, detect the uh, this is ma magnified, magnified. After you detect the lesion, then you change to the uh, BLI mode. Then you can use magnification and check the uh, JNET pattern. Using BLI, JNET classification for the NBI magnification can be used, very similar. So no area of the uh, genet type 3. So most genet type 2A, and maybe this uh, nodule could be 2B. Anyway, this is a good uh, candidate for endoscopic resection. Okay, then uh, I want to I want to explain the strategy. Uh, I will use the pocket creation method, and uh, at this area, the blood vessel is abundant. So I don't want to make hematoma anymore. So I will show you how to do that. <laughs> anyway, when you attach the the ST hood, I recommend you to insert the flash knife first. Flash knife, please. That's because there is a, a guide rail on the uh, ST hood. Can I, can I have the ST hood? I will show the ST hood. Can I show the ST hood? Please oh. focus on the Could you Professor close? Yamamoto's hand. Close up. Maybe too small. This is the, the, the tip of the hood is tapered down, narrowed down to seven millimeter. Okay, and there is a guide rail. So after you attach and then rotate, that's, that's not very easy. So what, you, what I would do is insert the flash knife first. And after the flash knife comes out, then I adjust the guide, guide rail to the position of the flash knife. And then I just attach the ST hood. Then you don't need to rotate anymore. 
So it, it doesn't uh, have any problem. And after attaching the ST hood, uh, Q-tips, please. Q-tips and uh, Q-tips is a cotton. Cotton. Uh, if you call cotton swab, then uh, American and European nurses will bring a big cotton. So this is a cotton bud or a Q-tip. Apply the lens cleaner inside and outside. Then, now I can start the procedure. Uh, Professor Yamamoto, yes? uh, not only the lens, but also the attachment clean up with... Uh, yes, that, that's, that's very important. Oh. Hi, uh, I have already injected. <laughs> I couldn't wait. Any, anyway, <laughs> anyway, when you inject, uh, you have to avoid the uh, vessels. You can see through the blood vessel, so you avoid the blood vessel and uh, perform the first injection. And after you, you made the first protrusion, then you can just uh, extend the uh, extend the uh, mucosal elevation. Okay, anyway, I will make a, a mucosa opening from to the anal side, and you have to be careful this part. This part, the, the region extend a little bit long, so I don't want to make the uh, vertical, uh, no, the horizontal margin positive, so I will start from here. Okay, so first, I insert the tip of the knife, a little bit, then the shallow, shallow, shallow mucosal incision. At the beginning, you don't need to cut deep. Slow and pull back a little bit. Uh, so shallow, shallow, shallow incision. Even in the anal canal, using the ST hood, you can maintain a good endoscopic view. Okay, tip of the knife, just the ball part I use. Dr. Yamamoto. Yes. So this lesion is uh, really close to the uh, anal verge, to the dentate line. Yes. Uh, do you put anything in your uh, solution injection yeah. to help numb the area? Yes, I injected the, uh, the xylocaine, uh, lidocaine. Maybe it's not necessary, but anyway, this kind of small uh, vessel, you can just coagulate with the uh, swift coagulation longer time, but maybe it's better to avoid cutting it. Okay, insert a little bit more, okay. And at the beginning, just use the tip of the knife. And then, once more, avoid cutting the, uh, the blood vessel, and then dissect. Leave the blood vessel. And right, right below the, the mucosa, here, still use the, just the flash knife tip only the knife and the seize and cut the mucosa and no, the cut the submucosa carefully then once more just the sheath of the knife and cut a little bit deeper now i can go with the uh, water jet, and then go into the submucosal space. Okay. And open the quagrasp bar, then move to the bleeding point and grasp. Then pull back and coagulate. Okay, open again and uh, 
this blood vessel. Once again, grasp a little bit more. Yes. Okay, open. And let's see. Okay, good. Here, once more, this blood vessel. I ironary? Okay. Yes. Ironary? Okay. You, you, yes. could cut, you could cut with a grasper? Uh, again. You could cut? If uh, you wish? If you wish, yes, maybe, but I don't do that. Okay. okay. Uh, grasp? 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 Okay. Then let's use the flash knife. And after coagulation, then you can cut with the flash knife. Okay. In the lower rectum, uh, a lot of blood vessels, so you have to be careful for coagulation of the blood vessel. You have to be very patient to coagulate the blood vessel. Okay? So it's, it's better to control the bleeding rather than cause the bleeding and um, stop, stop it. That could make the endoscopic view uh, not ideal. Uh, Professor Yamamoto, yes? how to decide the incision length of the entry point? Uh, the entry point, I yeah. usually about, about, about two, centimeters. two centimeters. Yes, that is the. Um, if, if it is too narrow, you can't move at all. But uh, if it, it is too wide, then you lose the benefit of the pocket. Uh, the benefit is uh, fix the endoscope itself? Yes, with the yes. Oh. Stable, stable control. Yeah. And it, you can see the blood, uh, you can see the tissue you will cut like this. So s stick the needle inside the tissue and then hook the, hook the something called the tissue and cut the tissue with the knife. Abundant blood vessel, so uh, tiny blood vessel. So this one, maybe I can coagulate with a knife. And in that case, I change to the uh, low power. This is the uh, the spray coagulation. Sp spray coagulation with 0 0.7. Okay. Pull back. And let's see. Yes. And again. But the next one is a bit too large. Eh, okay. Then this branch I can cut. Okay. So maybe this is this side, about the uh, size of the... Uh -huh. And I think this is deep enough. Uh, I measure the depth. And it's already here. So how about this side? Maybe I, I have to, it's better to dissect a little bit wider here. Let's make it a little bit wider, okay? So, let's so uh, when you decided to start the mm -hmm. circumferential incision? Uh, when the, the pocket is wide enough and deep enough, Maybe. Okay, I want to explain the progress. I create the pocket. As I talked uh, uh, in my lecture, the, the lower rectum, the, the muscle layer is not continuous. We call this a wi window blind appearance. There are a gap. So if you inject between the muscle layer, you can separate it. 
So you have to be careful. This is a large gap here. So you have to know that, the anatomy. Anyway, after making the pocket, submucosal pocket, I started opening the pocket from the lower side in terms of the gravity. So the, in this case, the left side is the lower side of the gravity. So I, I opened it, and from the lower side, I go around to the oral side as well. Then just the upper side, that, that is the uh, uh, right side, remains. So the, after opening the, uh, cutting the mucosa, then the dissection is uh, from inside of the pocket to the luminal side, like this. From inside of the pocket to the luminal side. From inside of the pocket to the luminal side. Okay. Uh, also, a very basic question. Mm -hmm. Now you are injecting, but you are injecting in the pocket? Uh, or where are you injecting? Because for me, uh -huh. un uh, uh, under the mucosa, now you have a pocket. Yes, yes, yes. So in how you can lift if you inject in the pocket? Because the, 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 the liquid will disappear in the pocket. Uh, the, uh, when I dissect the submucosal tissue, I inject in the pocket. But for the, the edge of the lesion, yes. the injection through the mucosa is more efficient. Okay. So I don't want to stick the needle through the, mu through the uh, tumor uh, if it is avoidable. So cut the mucosa, and then... In, in other words, it means that the oh. pocket is not complete. I'm sorry? The, 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 po the pocket is not complete, because you need to cut again. You understand? But the pocket is not complete. Co you po pocket is a little bit smaller than the size of the... Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's clear region. to me now. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, oh. yes. Okay, that's Maybe why. the Professor Yamamoto intentionally remained uh, around some other area. Yes, that's right. And then, from inside of the pocket, and to cut to the outside of the pocket. So, but then it has to be clearly explained, uh, at least for uh, Western experts, for Western uh, mm -hmm. operators, that the pocket is incomplete. The pocket is smaller than the piece. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, the, the creation of the pocket, the main purpose is the dissection at the center of the lesion, main lesion. Okay. So just the surrounding normal mucosa, it's not an uh, important part. So uh, it is okay to make the pocket a little bit smaller than the, uh, the mucosal defect you will make. But it's better? Uh, yeah, during the mucosal incision, if you have already made the pocket under the mucosa, maybe sometimes uh, that's it. A bit tricky. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much for a beautiful present demonstration, Dr. You're Yamamoto. Welcome.